Most people would say that NDP has failed. We have seen our own Dr. Sisi writing, Barrow doesn't have enough time. We have inherited a very bad governance system. But this NDP came to guide the Barrow administration. Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Mr. Adama Barrow, the Excellencies, Ambassadors, Ministers of State, Chiefs, Alkalolu, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to Pasamas and to witness yet another inauguration that will usher the Gambia into the nations of developed worlds. I woke up this morning from Basse and I crossed the bridge. Don't ask me why, because that bridge is not launched yet. But it took me two minutes to cross the bridge. And I said to myself, are we putting in gear the national development plan? I think we are indeed. And we are living witnesses of Gambia and the development trajectory of this government. I am not supposed to be doing the welcome remarks this morning, but all of the villages that are lined up all the way from Lamenkoto to Pasamas here have seen how well this road has been done. And therefore, 
it is a major achievement for this country that we all need to celebrate. But to host us and welcome us here to this ceremony today, and is the governor of the Upper River region of the Gambia, Madam Fanta Samate Mane, to give us the welcome remarks. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Mr. Adam Abaro, Her Excellency, Madam Sajon Balobaro, Alcalo of Pasamas, and all other Alcalos present here today, our host chief and all other chiefs that are with us here today, the Minister of Transport, Works and Infrastructure, and all other ministers invited here, members of the National Assembly, permanent secretaries, Director General, National Road Authority, and all other directors invited here, the contractor of the project, representative of the various United Nations system, religious leaders, youths, women leaders, members of the press, members of the Technical Advisory Committee, members of the sister security forces with us, representatives of various civil society organizations, and all other honorable participants or individuals that are invited here today. You are all welcome. And I say good afternoon to you all. It gives me a great pleasure and honor to stand before you this afternoon to deliver a welcome statement on the opening and inauguration of the Lamen Koto Pasamas Road in Upper River Region. The rationale for this gathering today is to officially witness the opening of the 121 kilometer long road to be presided over by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia. The Lamen Koto Pasamas Road project to be inaugurated today passes through settlements in both Central and Upper River region of the Gambia in communities such as Karantawa, Same, Deabugu, Yorobaol, etc., etc. It could be recalled that $61.9 million project for the contract duration of three years signed and is being supervised by institutions, and I'm going to name few, Pan-Arab Pan Consulting and Engineering, in joint venture with Cityscape Associates, a Gambian consultancy firm with the civil works being carried out by the contractor, RSK. Therefore, the completion of this significant project have connected the missing link on the North Bank Trunk Road of the Gambia, linking the North and South Bank Trunk Road through the Basse and Fatoto Bridge, currently under construction. The achievement of such a significant milestone, which will undoubtedly facilitate the timely transportation of goods and services within the outside and also the sub-region. The construction of this very important road, funded by the Saudi Fund for Development, Arab Fund for Economic Development, etc., Kuwaiti Fund, you name just a few, Um, through the support and also the contribution of the government of the Gambia is 100% in line with the National Development Plan, which aims to provide infrastructural and livelihood projects for the citizens of their motherland, the Gambia, especially those in the rural area. Your Excellency, Mr. President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the official opening of this Lamenko to Pasamas Road facility in Upper River Region premised on government's commitment of providing quality road networks in the country. This wouldn't have been successful without the effort of the Ministry of Works and Infrastructure, the Ministry of Finance and Economic Affairs, and the National Roads Authority in collaboration with funding agencies 
for the construction of the Bansan Spur and also the Yoruba Wall Basin Roads, as additional scope of works also award great commendation. The construction of these roads will also enhance accessibility to both Basse Major Health Center and Bansan Refinery Hospital in Upper River Region and also in Central River Region. This project, in addition, will also boost business and entrepreneurship in the Upper River Region as one of the biggest economic hubs of the country. It will further ensure that all citizens and non-citizens alike have the opportunity to travel within and outside the sub-region, therefore promoting the ECOWAS protocols of free and timely movement of goods and services to develop local and sub-regional economies. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, I think you will all agree with me that business and entrepreneurship are critical drivers to the socio-economic development of every country, which cannot be achieved without good road network. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen here, I would want to thank each and every one of you for being here. And again, against this background, I will welcome you all to this historic event. And finally, thank you all for being here and your kind attention. Thank you all. Enjoy your stay in Upper River Region. On behalf of RSD Group Management, I would like to express our great pleasure to be part of this historical event, the inauguration of Lamin Kotopasimat Road Construction Project, which is about 120 kilometer, 560 meter long, with a characteristic of seven meter carriageway in asphalt concrete and 1.5 meter shoulder both sides double sealed. The road is widened to 10 meters carriageway in asphalt concrete in the major villages like Karantaba, Sami, Dembawandu, Kurao, Chamoy, Bajakunda, and Sutukuba, with safety measures like guardrails, road marking, and speed bumps. The road has been designed to high standard with high quality signboards, curb, markers, posts, and cat eyes. Areski has ensured the executing of the quality job in compliance with the standard within the rules of art. Completed before the contract completion date and within the budget, due to our large experience in the construction field. Areski Group was established since more than 50 years in the sub-region, specialized in all civil engineering roads, construction, bridges, buildings, airports, ports, stone crushing plants, with a team of qualified engineers and staff. Ariski Group has a large fleet of all types of modern construction equipment and machineries, which made us one of the leader construction companies in the sub-region. We thank all those who contributed to the success of the project, which will not only benefit the people of CRR and URR, but the Gambia as a whole and our neighboring villages in Senegal. Finally, we thank His Excellency, the President, Mr. Adam Abaru, for his visionary leadership and creating the enabling environment for the real realization and achievement of this landable project. We thank all those who have contributed to the success of the project, starting from the government of the Gambia, the Minister of Transport and Works and Infrastructure, represented by Honorable Bailamin Job and his staff, 
the Minister of Finance, represented by Honorable Mamburin Jai and his staff, the National Road Authority, NRA Managing Director and his staff, the Consulting Pace and, cit and Cityscape, all different communities along the road. And I have to thank also RSK workers, the funding agencies, Saudi Fund for Development, Kuwaiti Fund for Arab Economic and Development, OPEC Fund for International Development, Abu Dhabi Fund for Development, and at the end, I would like to thank you for your kind attention. Thank you very much. This project, of course, like any other projects, uh, there is, as, we, as we say, there is no success without challenges. So it went through many challenges like the water crossing, hydraulic problems, some uh, material procurement, but uh, with the cooperation, uh, alhamdulillah, with all the parties, the uh, government, the NRA, NRA, the governors, the ministry, and all the local people, all of you had cooperated to resolve all these uh, uh, challenges which faced the project. And uh, finally, we had, uh, all of us had achieved uh, this project uh, in uh, meeting the time as planned, the, techni the technical uh, requirements, and the budget. So, alhamdulillah, we had met the three main uh, challenges in it. Thanks for uh, being here and uh, honored to have this uh, gathering. Thank you. The Saudi Fund for Development has previously provided loans totaling about 169 million US dollars for 12 projects, including transport, education, water, and economic development. In addition to five grants worth 43.5 million US dollars to board projects in the water and energy sector. The Saudi Fund for Development is committed to working with the Gambian government to improve living standards for the entire Gambian population. Your Excellencies, connectivity is a, a vital for a, for a thriving economy and the Lamin Kutu Pasimos Road will have a major impact on the local communities in the eastern region of your country. Through this project, we are enabling the Gambia to reach its full potential in terms of social and economic development. And we commend the government to the Republic of the Gambia for its concrete efforts toward building prosperity for the Gambian people. And thank you very much. I would like to thank the government of Republic of the Gambia for the kind reception and the warm welcome for the excellent arrangement made for this important ceremony. The ceremony of today is an important milestone in the development of mutual cooperation between the fund and your friendly country. Kuwait Fund attaches exclusively importance of this project as it aimed to support the economic and social development in the northern eastern region of the Gambia by improving its link with the capital bundle and its main seaport and further improve connection with the remaining regions of the country in all weather condition to improve the exploration of the agriculture product and reduce the trans its transport cost and time and to facilitate people's access to market and social service. Mr. President, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, development cooperation between the Gambia and Kuwait Fund dates back to 1977, when the fund extended a soft loan of financing the Soma Road project with an amount of about 11.5 million US dollars. 
Since 1977 and until today, the Kuwait Fund extended 13 soft loans to the Gambia with a total amount of about 152 million US dollars to participate in the financing of development projects in various sectors, such as agriculture, energy, transport, education, and health. Furthermore, the fund has extended seven technical assistance with a total amount of 4.5 million US dollars and a grant allocated by the government of the state of Kuwait for an amount of about 3 million US dollars within the framework of the Kuwait Goodwill Fund for promotion of food security in Islamic countries. Mr. President, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, your government has demonstrated a high degree in efficiency in the planning of implementation of development project in the Republic of the Gambia. And we take this opportunity to assure you of Kuwait Fund continuous support in your effort for the development of your friendly country. In closing, on behalf of the Kuwait Fund, I extend my congratulations and best wishes to everyone associated with, the, with this project. And it's, and it's my sincere hope that it will remain for a long time as a significant contributor to the glory of this friendly nation. Thank you very much. I will start thanking Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, for pressing the button of the Lemon Koto Pasamas Road today to be open to the general public. Thank you, Your Excellency. I will also take this opportunity to thank the funders of this road that is, the Saudi Fund, the Kuwaiti, the OPEC Fund and other funders who supported this project and supported the vision of the Gambian people. I thank you all, honorable members. Notwithstanding, I thank the contractor, Mr. Areski. I think I owe you two thanks. One thank is from the PS Works for making the ports or the passage at um, Sierra ferry crossing motorable today. We thank you for that. And the road to his excellent residence. P.S. Thank you very much for that. We also thank the consultants of this road. We say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, jazakumullah khairan. Other financiers I have mentioned before, the Honorable Minister of Works and his technocrat of the Ministry of Works, thank you very much for a wonderful supervision of this project. And many other projects. Because so far we've not inaugurated so many, many projects. From the bridge to the conference hall to Davy Road and many, many others in the urban areas. We are in the rural areas. We need to thank you for this. Ladies and gentlemen, I, as the governor of Sierra, standing here to thank you. We owe it to the government of today. Starting from Lower Salum, Upper Salum, Nyani, Sami are all beneficiaries to this Laman Koto Pasamas Road. The honorable members here can attest to that. For several decades today, Laman Koto Pasamas is being the talk of the, the government of the Gambia, starting from the executives, coming to the parliament, coming to departments, coming to the local people throughout this country, the talk of the Gambia. Everywhere, everybody knows Pasamas Lament Koto by name, but have never seen the road. And it's one of the best roads so far in this country. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. And the Ministry of um, Local Government, or Ministry of Works and the Contract. Lafta Lona Hadmadi Wolga, Tenturo di Alala. Silo Namel Soto, Kabol Lament Koto Kata Pasamas. Kabona Loa Salum, Upa Salum, Satnyani, Njao, Um, Nyani Kanana Sami, Banko Membe CRR Banko Ka. Ibe ala tentu nyi silo la le baring, silo le mea alonko, ma mira anene se shotono, gambe Banko Ka nyam. 120 kilometers with some more meters. Alhamdulillah, we thank God for that road. This is Nyinen Yuruwa Silo, Gambia Banko la Yuruwa Silo Mu Nyinati. North Bank Region. Banko la Northern Part. But Your Excellency, Excellency, 
Everybody is made for a purpose in life. We have discovered very, very special purposes in His Excellency the President. In other words, I had Jaliba mentioned it, and a friend, Jan Ja, also mentioned it in the same spot where we are talking. Just to press the button, Vetero Kulala, and in Kuali Labang Yeke Yabang, Adam Burunga Jalali. Pasama send you one in Feng at the Awebe on Amambang. Conference or send you Jalu at the Awebe on Amambang. Bridge or send you Jalu in Tolfaudin Dadia Mokon. Alayaki Atelia Yele, Atelia Yele, Atelia Wodoyel, Alama Ale Mako, Ajama Jamal Yele. Hadama de Moka Jamotin to Alabaran Yuman. And your Excellency, be attentive to the Miro Mesro Gambian Koli, Jikitako, La Miro, Ale de Maroki, Gambia Kayurua, Mira Bako Katolfi, Alabim Besolala, Betan to Lambe Jaila, and La Munu, if you're in your Jimara de Mama Kande, and your Honorable Balagawa Jahumpa, meaning in Silaku Keling Kelinga, Diamun Diamo. I remember coming to Parliament one day, the Mama Melori in Diamo. Parliament, the new. Blamen koto pasa mas dia umu B alain fela ain sinda kunto alain beki sima. Jamal le tata min mama bi, but Jamal le fana bijang kasingkan. Your Excellency alama alai kancha alama sola ni sila fasong lo Jamal abangko kang. Balu beb tentula balu jaila alama beru kujang balu bunya futan jaku. B oh today I am giving the vote of thanks in your honourable governor. I'm inviting you to CRR to also give a vote of thanks on Wednesday. We are going to open a lament for us. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. For those of you who are old enough to remember the story of this road, and if my memory serves me right, you will agree that it has taken too long for this vital road to be constructed. It has been close to over 40 years of planning by past governments year in, year out, without any ground breaking. However, today we mark the final completion of the works after three years, we commence on 2nd February 2017, coinciding with the start of this government under the leadership of His Excellency, the President Adam Abaro. <laughs> Nobody, therefore, can rewrite this historical moment otherwise or erase this eventful accomplishment. This road, as has been said earlier, is actually 121 kilometers long, linking along its path, as I'm told, over 50 communities, not to, me not to mention other communities that are one or two kilometers away from it. It provides greater access to vast tracts of agricultural lands. It, it provides access to social facilities such as schools and health centers. It facilitates greater movement of people and goods, and it enhances the market potential of Sami, Sandu, Wuli districts, and beyond. On behalf of the President of the Gambia, and on behalf of the Ministry of Transport, Works, and Infrastructure, may I therefore take this opportunity to express our profound appreciation to all the different institutions and personalities that came together to make this road and this event possible. I wish to mention the, fellow, the following development partners that contributed immensely to this project. And I'll start with the Saudi Fund, also the Kuwait Fund for Arab Economic Development, KFAED, the OPEC Fund for International Development of it, the Arab for Economic, the Arab Bank for Economic Development in Africa, Badia, Africa Development Bank, AFDB, 
the government of the Gambia. They are all contributors to this project. This goes to the managing director of NRA, Mr. Momodu Senghor, and the project manager, Mr. Bola Sise. They have executed their respective roles with the right level of dedication to achieve the results we are witnessing today. We thank the consultant team, led by Mr. Mahmoud of the PACE, and also the local partner, Mr. Modugay of Cityscape, for their professionalism and in ensuring that the works are up to the expected standards. We thank the contractor team, led by site manager Mr. Ali Ariski, who spoke earlier, who was fully supported by the general manager of the company, Mr. Tariq Ariski, for con executing the works up to the desired standard, less than the contract period and less than the estimated cost, allowing us to engage in extra works such as the Yarrow Ball and Bansang Spurs. I wish to express our appreciation and gratitude to the Alcalos of Sami village, Yaya Mbake, and uh, of Sami, of Sare Teneng, Yeroba, of Saba Gabude, Keba Danyo. We are most appreciative of your contribution in supporting our workers and our teams. Uh, we also thank all other Alcalos and members of the various communities along the road alignment for their warm welcome and support to all the men and women who work in this project. Lastly, I wish to thank all the professionals, technical staff, and the entire labor force that worked in this project, most of the time under very difficult conditions. It is clear to me that it, is, it must have been taking great dedication over and beyond your terms of reference and pay to achieve this level of success. Let me therefore heartily congrat congratulate all of you for the successful completion of this important project. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it goes without saying that the roads come with much other advantages, as improving access to the great agricultural potential of the northern northeast region, facilitating effective implementation of the government's rural development programs. The road will also stimulate the, promiso, the, pro, the provision of better and more effective public services, including agricultural extension to encourage greater, greater production. All these are critical to Gambia's food self-sufficiency drive and foreign exchange earnings. In sum, the project provides a viable pathway to the economic prosperity and social progress. Cognizant of the benefits that could accrue from this road. The government collaborated with supportive development partners to fund this magnificent infrastructural project. In this respect, I acknowledge the significant funding provided by the Saudi Fund, the Kuwaiti Fund for Arab Economic Development, OPEC Fund for International Development, Arab Bank for Economic Development in Africa, Badia, and the African Development Bank, ADFD. On behalf of the government of the Gambia and the people of the Gambia, I express heartfelt appreciation of their laudable contribution to the achievement of this component of the National Development Plan. Prior to the project, the Lamin Koto Pasamas Road 
had deteriorated badly due to a number of factors. A major factor was the uneven train, terrain through which the gravel road was built. An other factor was the absence of a proper inbuilt drainage system. Thus, the issue of drainage was one of the key factors considered during the project design process. As such, 120 culverts and drains have been constructed to ensure adequate drainage of both the main and access roads. These are meant to ease the proper movement of water from the road structure to outfalls. I am proud to state that the development of these roads mirrors our mission as commitment to raising living standards by creating platforms for economic growth and job creation, as enshrined in our national development plan. I congratulate the Ministry of Transport, Works and Infrastructure and the National Road Authority on the successful, successful completion of the construction works. And we commend them for their devotion and commitment to the project. At this juncture, allow me to thank the project consultants, Pan Arab Consulting Engineering, PACE, and Cityscape Associate, as well as the contractor, Ariski, for executing their contracts with due diligence and within time and budget. Every single dedicated worker who toiled to make this project a success has contributed to making this great day possible. On behalf of the people of the Gambia, I say to each one of you, thank you. What you have mentioned also are the members of the communities who endure the noise, thus and other environmental inconveniences that erupted during the construction phase of the project, hoping that it was worth all the trouble. I thank all of you. For the fact that a greater part of the road traverses settlement areas of the Same, Sandu, Wuli districts. The design and implementation of this road was done with road safety issues in mind. In this regard, specific road safety measures have been taken into consideration. I urge all users, more so the communities living along the corridor, to follow the traffic rules and all road safety regulations developed for our general safety and comfort so that all of us will continue to enjoy our roads with ease and comfort. May God guide and protect every user of this road. In conclusion, the successful completion of this project is a clear signpost of the implementation of the National Development Plan. We will continue to maintain and expand the urban secondary and feeder road networks in order to improve accessibility and induce acceptable travel times between destinations for all travelers. Ladies and gentlemen, I now declare the Lamin Koto Pasamas Road open and I thank you for your attention. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Nyin Satewo Alkalo Lamin Koto Pasamas Nyin Alkalo Lbe Mbe Kontonna Mbe Satewo Almamo Kontonna Ani Almamo Lmen Mabe Tajang Mbe Sefo Lmen Kontonna Mbe Governor Lmen Kontonna Melvi Jambi National Assembly Members Ani Nna Ministral Ani nna luntam bal mel vijam bi. Nyin luntam ol wolea kendi no nyin silo dada nota. Nyin luntam ol bi nyum luntam kuma baleti Gambia kono andu inata mabe jang pur niye nyin kontano kaya jitandi nyola bi. Woto fem fem mu wulin koti. Biye safu alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. 
ñin silo a siara sanji taluruti silo kumo be fokan lamen koto pasamas silo lon meyalon ko gambia bele silo ñin lon silo lon meyalon ko atinya da fafra da tembe do meyalon ko ni ko lamen koto pasamas ni ko pasamas do ka fala jam fara gambia ko non bari bi kabir ñanta ñin silo kulli la yen ñin ka silo ñanta kulli la min tole ngoy silo ñi mbida kulli la passa masle wari passa mas lon dula men molbe ka fara jam fadale bari lafta molbe ya lon ka fako bi passa mas man jam fa bañuna passa mas kata mol kono le bi wala ken ni ko bi badu ngana passa mas bari ñi passa mas saate ko no jang ndemu mole di melo ko nga tari ko soro le ñi saate ko no 1997 na muso be karandiro la nu andu ya pos nu passa masle abe karandiro la ni sade ko no jang nata djube passa mas in 1997 mbina wato mi akata samale ko no kabirim bota banjun man fudo no passa mas fo asamo le fudo da passa mas jang pour ka nanda muso djube hakke silo la kolea ngan la jang suta kilin suta fula nsarata mbesaila ninna muso e mulodi nyola kabir na sarta ngaya ko sain ngalo e tebe wulla pasamas kana de tarandi banjun ban denene te wulla banjun kana ke tra kasama pasamas hakke silo la kolea kam wolun na muso anyo torata baki anya jio bota kumbota akko kida e ni tora bati because of pasamas la jam fo kamma bari wolu mba foka lumbe nene ma miro nun ka fo lamin ko do passa ma silo nde fo on delamina ke la president woti kana ka o silo don ku ka passa ma bonni din kokon o do isa lon ko ala dron ne wono kabri li fo sida namu so e li fota soma soma holidays atara ya combo kabri li fo be banna ako ni sai mba kala nyaadi le ngaya tudde tele bulu passa mas ndede dala je koten namuso e letter of safe wolto ka resign from education ay karandiro bulu anim bitema amando amando ko ki koten ke atata housewife yalla because of passa mas la jam fo kamma bar wo julo akuntu da bile yalo iko ni mol be nyoso so la ka fo tilo boy dala mam boy ni wonyo soso be keri woto suo manku ni suo kuta wonyo soso roto kila bi mobe ya lon ne ka foko lamin ko do passa mas e si wuli no passa mas le lerna ni ko no yefuda combo woto si tano combo le yamuru non passa mas ya anun ngalon ne ko do ko fero le ka samba hakilo le ka samba lamin ko do passa mas silo do kuta bari bale benin e karado tema wala ken di bimbe brijo local la jang sai atudal telle bulu alla fatal karawo karal bulubani mara atudal telle bulu na alla fatal ta north bank na alla ta ta south bank bari ni na ra jang fe fem fem bani silo kan ka bo passa mas kana fo lamin koto fo ngana janga be tentu silo ñinte doku no la nu nata al mal bulo ka fuje silo ñinte doku no la nu nata la doku lal ñi al manke la jaati kendolti al kala jaati kendolti wala ke ni doku ñi ngita janni ya ban wato tema ya ban kari woro janni ya ban wato tema woto al tele o kendi no woto mbal ni mbara la baake ani fen fe kato ke pour ñin doku o keno ta fo bi nata jam pour ka celebrate nga na luntan kumal soto luntan on meya lon ko inata pour ka mol ma koy pour ñim banko be ñi silo be doku no la ñami wala ken di bi nga foye ko silo men be baada la ani lamin ko do passa mas tema ban sa ma fa ani basse ma fa ngo o mu sila de meya lon ko lafta pour ay doku andu nga dati le a sembo ten bari nga lon ne ko lamin ko do passa mas ko e meta baada la le ando a jarata ñe pour nga doku ke lafta ali ablo du ñe pour ka ma ko pour nga doku franc luntan jamal le mabe to jang senegalin kol ben konole modol buta dula jambal to modol buta be banku dolto 
Bari Senegal in cold roll bijam mea lonko inata. Purka na mol faba ni njindu oku okono. Senegal la television ba, ika afa me RTS. Abijan, anata purka na maabe njinto. Kana asilo njunjube, ka asilo mfilm, ka abondi fwa dunia besa jeno nyame. Woto mbe ol mwol tentula mbe jaila. Ini la nyato nko Mr. Sow, ini wole nata. Woto ne nati, purka na ajam, purka mol faba ni. Woto sinyo ya muku kende balti. Andu ngalo nko pasa maas, Alning frontiero manjam fanyola. Woto sinyo ya kendo, wole wo sabuno, woto RTS nkol, mbebe konton, ani media houses mel bijang. Kata GRTS, kata QTV, ani television on mel bijang. Mba be tentu na mba be jaila. Ntel bi, nkwantanta le. Mune nkwantandi, wolo nyinti ko hame bale be keri no Gambia. Pur doko me nyanta kela bi wo hamo ati madale. Presida ya hana danta nyinna le. Woto wobe kela tariko li ndela presida ya kono kafa ko lamen kodo ka bondi dingo kono president baro wole wosabu andu akira sanjuma ale kono 2020. Woto mba afola ale ko Gambia pareta doku wala saing. Diamo lalu wolbe kontinu ka diamo oke. Bari ndelbe kontinu ka purka doku oke. Mbe sila doku wa nyimba kontinu ndale mbe salol doku la nyimba nkukane mbe kurao doku la nyimba nkukane E saaja Gambia nko be, a beisa fil ka fako, banko wade a fali ntale. Fali wanyi manke ke diya modro nti. Fali wanyi nyanta ke la doku walti. Fali wanyi mol nyanta alo nakafa, fali ntale. Mol nyanta a fil lale. Kwa lami nko do pasa maas nko liya fil nyame mbi, lafta Gambia nko be ya fil wanya, kafa fali wanke dale, anu nyimbe ke la nyato ta afana neti. Wato bil alana jang kana mabe, oke dante le konta an kubati. Na patna al melbi jang ifana i konta antale. Wari nara nara janu alman fundi. Na padna alwa ajila la kafuko ha Nyilde doku wa mengida Iman doku wa nyinji Andu iman konta an doku wa nyinto Bari bi ala funto ya wa nyita ndile Kafu al konta anta doku wa nyinna kuwato le Andu al dave gambia la nyato ta akonol Wato pasa maas kol mbal tentu la mbal jaila Siyo meta le Andu nalunta wa nyinti wa nyanta saila le Ni wote bi Mbera li ba mbe wole kala pasa maas jang Mbe la la nunja mfosa ama Wari mkonta anta le Andu ni konta anta foye la konta anta foye wa nyita ndi Woto saateo alkalo, ani saateo almamo, mba abie kontona. Na silo meye mbondi banjo nipuruka na alamini kodo pasama asipuruka ayele. Bari mba yela, nga kolejo lo base mbe wofana yela tena lungo. Anu alhawala tamandiro, nga wofana na headquarters bale londi bansang, mbe wofana yela le araba lungo. Wole nati na mbolo nkono jang, dulate jamfalante, wairi ngalo neka foko, dokuo, wolo mtela fokosti, anu dokuo wolo mtela jeroti. Anu ngamira gambia nko alafta doku wala. Anu alafta gambia nko be. Abe kafuna purunga nyimba nko doku. Mwote nyimba nko doku unona na manke niteleti. Nyil patna alu nilipi jang isi mako inole. Bari purka doku wanyi nka ayeke. Ndel fangola wati. Anu nime mbe mako ila. Na jube itema ntare fang mako ila. Nite mbata hati mbata alali. Watu pasa masko ala mbal tentula mbal jaila. Mba afala aleko asalamu aleko wa rahmatullah. Thank <laughs> you.